rare. Hi, everybody. Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Angela here with day 155 of Drawing Together. So today's going to be kind of a different one. We haven't done anything like this before. So grab those papers and pencils, colored pencils, markers, whatever you have, and let's get drawing. Today we're going to do something that has to do with a cat, but we are not going to draw the cat himself. What we're going to draw are his paws. So if you've ever seen a cat walk on something and leave their paw prints, that's what we're gonna learn how to do. We're gonna do paw prints today. Now, so all we really need is a black crayon or a black marker or whatever you have that's black and we'll make it really dark. But I'm gonna let you in on a secret. If you had chalk and you learn how to make these paw prints, you can put them on your driveway or anything and it'll look like a cat walked across your driveway. So are you ready to start? Okay, grab those pencils. Now, I'm gonna move this up here so we can see it better. Maybe I'll get that little light out of our eyes a little bit. Okay, now, I'm gonna put this off so I can see just a little bit better while we're doing it. I'm gonna grab a marker and I'm gonna start making the shapes of our paws first. Now, the paws, you're gonna see just the part, this big part of it, and it's gonna look kind of like a, a round upside down heart, but a really rounded, chubby heart. And then we're gonna put fall, four little paws on it. So they just, when they walk, they're gonna leave their little print. Okay, I'm gonna start right here. And I'm gonna draw that, like I said, well, let's get a little bigger pen because I don't think this is gonna show very well. This one will show. I'm gonna draw it just like this. Kind of like an upside down heart, but kind of like a soft heart, if you know what I mean. It's not really, it doesn't have the big, big round thing, big round top or the pointed bottom. It just is kind of just a soft rounded one. Now, when a cat walks, it would step here and then it would step here with the other paw. So let's put another one right here. Try to make them about the same size. They don't have to be perfect. So he's step, step, his next foot would be up here. So you have to kind of judge where he would step each time. And you have to keep them kind of like they're going um, almost diagonal across from each other all the time. So he steps, step, step. Now let's do another one right here. We're going to have him walking right off the board. Oh, why not? Okay, step, 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 step. And we're going to put one way up here. I'm going to bring that down in there a little bit so it doesn't move. And you know what? Since he's just stepped on it, I think he's going to start right over here. So I, I didn't know where to, if, if I should put one down here, but I'm going to put one down here now. There we go. Okay, so our cat is going like this. Two, three, four, five, six. And he's going right across our paper. Now we've got to do his little paws that are going to be on there. His little uh, fingerprints, kind of. So we're going to do one, two three, four. So does that look more like a paw print now? And we're going to do the same one here. One, two, three, four. Now mine are not perfect. And we're going to color them in. So if I'm a little sloppy, we'll color them in a bit. So I kind of do two on this side. I don't do one up right up at the top. So I kind of go around this side and do two more. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do one, two, one, two. I like this. One, two, one, two. And then over here, our very last one, and maybe our toes, I don't know, will they go off? No, I guess they're going to stay on. All right, we got our paw prints. Now, what we want to do is color them all in. Now, hopefully my marker is going to work for me. It's not going to give out on me. So all you're going to do is color in all of these spots. I'm going to start with the toes because they look kind of easy to me. Less coloring. I'm going to do all my toes first. Got a couple markers up here just in case. I'm being a little sloppy. Hopefully you'll be taking your time. And there we go. Now how many of you have a cat? or have a cat in your neighborhood that maybe leaves paw prints. Sometimes they, they jump and they're in something dirty and then they walk across the hood of cars and they leave footprints all across the hood of cars. These are a lot like dog prints too. So if you have a dog and you want to say they're dog prints, you could do that. 
like I said, if you had chalk, it would be really, really cool to do them across your driveway or maybe up to your front door. All right, now I'm going to color in the bigger part. I'm going to trade markers, just give that one a little rest. Some trade markers. Not too much color in this one. Just one color, black. If you did it with chalk, maybe they could be white paw prints. So, let's see. I'm going to go around the corner down here. Starting to look like a cat walked across it. Now, these are pretty big. If this cat walked across it, this would be more like a mountain lion that walked across my paper. Maybe yours will be smaller. This is a pretty big one. These are almost the size of my hand. If I saw a cat that big, I'd be running the other way. I have two cats. And one is like a tiger cat, which it looks, it's got gray tiger stripes on it. And my other cat is a calico cat. And that's kind of all different colors. She's kind of a funny little cat because she's kind of got orange and black and gray and brown and all kinds of colors. But the one leg, her one back leg, looks like an orange cat. It's just got orange and white stripes. Otherwise, the whole cat's all different colors, except for that one leg is very uniform. So my daughter called her Glitch because she's like a little glitch happened when, when her black, back leg. And then my other cat's name is Gabriel. Gabriel's a little bit of a bad boy. When we got him, we, we rescued him, and they had nicknamed him Trouble. And I should have realized that when I have got a cat named Trouble, that that cat might just be a little bit of trouble. He's up to no good most of the time. And I have a dog, and they don't like the dog very much. Because My little dog likes to jump after him, and he wants them to play with him, but they won't play with him. Okay, boys and girls. Wow, now we have never done anything like this before. It's just kind of simple, it's kind of different, but you can have a lot of fun with this. Like I said, you can put paw prints all over the place <laughs> in driveways with chalk, should I say. Don't do them on markers on your parents' walls or floors, because then they'll come back to me and they're gonna yell at me for teaching you how to do it. So, this was day 155, so I will see you next week for day 151. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to draw, so you'll just have to tune in and find out, and we'll see you next week, everyone. Be safe over the summer, enjoy yourself, uh, listen to your parents, stay creative, and be kind to one another. Super important to be kind, the best thing you can give anybody in the world. Talk to you later, see you later. Bye-bye now.